What's up guys, welcome back. In this video I want to show you some commands that will help you working with big files um, and checking them, looking at them, and debugging some, uh, you know, making sure two files have the same contents in them. So the first thing I want to talk about is the command diff. What diff does is it takes two arguments, um, uh, two files, so let's say I have two files A and B, and it compares files A and B to see if they are the same. Um, this can be really handy when you're running programs and you want to make sure the output um, is the same. You know, you run it today, you run it tomorrow, make sure the output's the same, or it's been a while. It's basically checking two files and making sure they're the same. So to help me show you how this works, um, I have an infinite Python program I just wrote, um, and it just goes from a really big number and prints out a bunch of big numbers. Here's the code for it. Um, so if I run Python infinite, it just spits out a ton of numbers, right? Well, as we learned in a prior lesson, I can redirect this to a file, A, um, and I can redirect it again to another file called B. And now, theoretically, A and B should be the same, right? But they're really big. How do we know for sure? Well, one way to do that is to diff A and B. If you hit enter, look, we got no output, that means they're the exact same. Now I'm going to create another file called C, but I'm going to, uh, this takes a second to run, I'm going to end it early. Just like that, if we do a cat on C, we'll notice um, it only goes to this number, whereas if we do a cat on B, it goes all the way down to that number. So if we do a diff on B and C, we'll notice we get this weird output with all these things. So what does this mean? What is it telling us? Well. First, notice there's a caret right here. This is telling us that this line is missing from another line. So if I did it from C to B, notice how the arrow is pointing the other way. Basically, it's telling us um, this number was present in B, but was not present in C. And when we flipped it this other way, it was just the arrow is just points at the file that this number exists in. So now that uh, B is over on this side, this 99 is pointing at B because that number exists in B and it doesn't exist in C. So it's checking each line in each of the files and comparing them and checking if they're the same. And if they are the same, like A and B, it prints nothing and you know they're the same. So that can be helpful when testing the uh, outputs of your programs. Now, if we just do the man page for diff, there's a lot of different other flags. I'm not going to go through all of them because there's a lot of them. But take a look if you need to ignore case or skip new lines or there's several other different things you can um, do to diff two files, which can be very helpful. So take a look at that if you want to do more in-depth diffing. But it's good to know this exists when you need to use it. Um, the other thing is, notice when I cat A, that's really huge and stuff. I can do less um, on A and I can scroll through. But still, let's just say I want to see the first five elements or something, I can use a command called head. So I could do head A, and by default it just shows the first 10 uh, lines of the file A. I can head B, I can head C, um, and it just prints the first 10 lines. Now I can use the dash N um, command, and it tells you, you know, or that dash N flag, and you specify the number of lines you'd like to see. So maybe I only want to see two lines from A. It just first shows me the first two lines. Um, and of course I can ask for more, let's say I want 20, it shows me the first 20 lines. So this can be very helpful when you want to just see the first couple of lines in a program. And you can also pipe that. Remember you can pipe almost anything. So if I just pipe head on to this, it'll show me the first 10 lines of this output and then it'll tell me the pipe's broken because it continues running. But you can see that right here it just showed the first 10 lines. And now there's a counterpart to head. Um, what's called tail. Um, so the tail gets the last 10 lines of the file. So if I do tail A, you notice these are the last 10. And it has the dash N flag as well. I could ask for two if I wanted to. Um, and if we do a tail on N, and only show five on C, we'll see that the last five lines are different than the fi five last lines of A. And that's another way to just kind of check different files if you just want to look at the bottom or the top. That's really helpful. So that was just a couple commands I wanted to show you to help you with um, looking at files. Um, makes it a little bit easier. So again, one more time to review, we use diff, which compares two files, A and B, um, and then looks at their contents and tells you which lines are different. Um, tail, 
um, looks at the last X number of lines. Default, it looks at 10 lines, but you can do the dash N flag, can get as many as you want. Um, and your head is the inverse, gets the topmost. Uh, so check out these commands, try them out, and hopefully that helps.